The Galactic Free Press Update Light energy has moved to the forefront of this planet. Bringing humanity home. Energy and event update. Greetings, love beings, and welcome to February and the Chinese New Year of the Snake, which is very significant as this represents the Kundalini energy and hearts opening. A blast of energy was released to the planet January 31st, 2013. This was to really kick off February with a bang of light. We went out with a bang. This month will definitely be exciting. The energy of light has arrived completely at the forefront of this planet. Light is afoot. Truth is afoot. And true, unconditional love, the most powerful energy in all of creation, is here on planet Earth Equal Heart. We have many events for February, and we will see what unfolds. Quoted from Mahela. I think many of us were looking forward to being in a new energy after December 21st, 2012, and thinking everything would be all right from now on. The new energy is here, and although we need to adjust to it so we can create what we choose to experience. We are in the time when what we think manifests almost instantly. This means to really pay attention to what you think and focus on thinking with your heart. There was a supernova in February of 1987. After that, we had the harmonic convergence, which pushed us into a new timeline. This year, the bubbles at the center of our galaxy erupted and it is like a huge fountain ejecting all kinds of magnetic energy into our galaxy. Magnetic energy is blue. Could this be what the Hopi talk about as the blue star dancing in the heavens? This event was stronger than thousands of supernova and was announced on January 2nd of 2013 when the sun was at the closest point to the earth. What will this cause on earth? Well, the saying is, as above, so below, because we are all one. We are already feeling this new earth energy. We are getting ready to enter the year of the water snake on February 9th, 2013. There will be more water events this year. Water also rules emotions and it rules spirituality. We are still in the year of the storm in the dream spell calendar. Saturn is in Scorpio, which is a water sign. Neptune is in Pisces, which is another water sign. And Jupiter moves into Cancer in June. Jupiter moves into forward motion on January 30th. And this is a huge planet, so we will start to see things really moving forward. It's time to tune in to the new energy. The water snake is more compassionate than any other type of snake. This snake is gifted with strong charisma and is very inquisitive. This year will be good for those who are able to tune in to the higher frequency earth. For those who are not able to do that yet, there will be lots of challenges. Scorpio and Pluto rule the dark side of life. Scorpio rules the very depth of darkness. And Pluto is transforming this darkness into light. This means that a lot of dark stuff will be brought out into the open to be looked at and transformed. Scorpio also has the symbol of the high-flying eagle for those who have balanced. Hopefully, a lot of people will reach for the eagle in the next two years. My friend Mona channeled that there will be a great shaking, both of the earth and within us, in mid-February. This is a possibility because of all the earth changes we have already gone through. The core of earth is heating up, and our magnetic field is very low. 
The core is what creates the magnetic field around the Earth. If our core changes, then we could have a great shaking called a magnetic pole shift. We have already gone through several shifts of our magnetic pole since 1994, and it has shifted several miles. This February might be a big shift. If so, we might start spinning in a different direction, like counterclockwise. It's like reaching the null zone where everything stops, and then we all start spinning again in a different direction. When this happens, do not go into fear. It is all a part of the process of reaching the new Earth. There is also an asteroid that will be passing very close to Earth on February 15th. I don't think this asteroid will hit the Earth, but it will come very close and could trigger our magnetic field and our own personal magnetic field called our aura. This means that if the core shakes, maybe from a solar flare, we could also shake, and this could scare some people. If this happens, Stay cool, stay calm, and stay collected. All is well. We do live in interesting times, and we never know what a day will bring. Everything is moving so fast that it's hard to get anything done anymore. If the pole shift event happens, it is time to stop and recalibrate our own life. Control will no longer work. If it doesn't flow, just drop the challenge. We are now in a time of synchronicity, and this is the only way life will work anymore. It is a good time to change our perception of life and learn how to laugh and stay in joy. End of quote. In our last update, we shared that energetically we were going to see a lot of movement this month and that we could easily see the buildup of light expanding across the planet. Currently, tons of light is pouring in at an unstoppable rate. Many, as well as us, are reporting having visions about this month being very significant for the planet, including Bill Ballard and Drumbalo. Quoted from Bill Ballard, Many of us have been waiting for a long time for February 2013, knowing this month brings the possibility of the great shift that many were looking for in December of 2012. What will happen? I certainly don't know. But I see beyond doubt that the energies are building to a great shift. I, as well as many others, are anticipating this month and what it brings. So much has happened in the first half of the Great Tribulation, the three and a half years between September 2009 and now. The first half was about activation and contemplation of reality and stepping into our mastery, as well as the beginning of the Great Awakening of Humanity. Where we are going from here is anybody's guess, as timelines are still merging, leading eventually to the end of time. What will happen now? I don't know. But it is so very exciting to be alive, incarnate, awake, aware, and activated right now, witnessing it all go down. End of quote. Indeed, the New Earth energy is on the move, as more and more awaken on the planet on a daily basis. This is exciting, as this is now continually adding more and more of the higher vibrational frequencies into the physical field of the planet. The unified field is strengthening and expanding at a quick rate as more and more are being and living from their heart. The up 
grade for planet Earth equal heart is underway. Quoted from KP's blog. It is very clear to me that the energies upon and on this planet have changed dramatically in the past few weeks. You think nothing happened on the 12-21-12? Well, think again. There has been an upgrade. An upgrade. It feels as if anything and everything that came before is no more. I'm sure some are trying to play the same old, same old game. But there's nothing that left to play. The game is no more. And when I say an old paradigm is not worth the paradigms, I'm talking about even paradigms that were held one second ago, let alone years ago. Remember, we are in the midst of a magnificent upgrading of these new Earth energies. We've been upgraded. We have received them, and we are them. End of quote. 2013 is going to be a wonderful journey into more of the oneness energies. We are moving into unity consciousness, which is all about we. Those who continue to choose the old energy and refuse to transform will be leaving this planet. This is the reality of the shift which is underway. Lightworkers and wayshowers, the light is coming in, in this year of 2013, and it will be showtime, meaning time to be love in action. Love is being revealed on planet Earth, equal heart. Quoted from Jeff Fasano. What you can expect in 2013 is seeing and observing the continued shifts in your old world of form outside of you. As each individual moves through 2013 with full purpose and intention of we consciousness within the individual, the group, the endeavor, and soul family, a shift energetically of mass consciousness will transpire. You will find in your third dimensional realm various entities and groups who will be forming with this higher vibrational idea of we consciousness. This will begin to shift the energetic mechanization of your old world of form. You will see those in the old world of form remain in their defense and fighting to the death to hold that old world of form in place. What will transpire as well in 2013 is a full delineation of the thirds that we have spoken to you about. Those who are encrusted and entrenched in the old, realizing that what is most important to them is the fight to hold this in place. You will find them transitioning. They may relinquish this fight. You will find many in the old world of form who fight to keep it in place, relinquishing that fight and perhaps transitioning from your third dimensional realm. You're going to find more and more individuals who realize the old world of form outside of them no longer works, seeking the way showers and the light workers. This population will be increasing. It is up to the way showers and light workers to be ready and available as many come to them for support and guidance. Your first four months of of this year is about support and guidance of each other because what you will find in the transition period in your second four months will be many from the masses coming to the light workers and the way showers for support and guidance to transition from the old world of form and be enlightened to the new form of we consciousness the new world of community, of true harmony, 
and true equality. Way showers who have moved through the portal of 122112 and have fully accepted the roles they have chosen and that have been chosen for them multidimensionally in their soul fragments divine plan will be moving through this process. This will be more defined and delineated as you move through 2013. Your year of 2013 is a year of simplification. It will also be a year of defining those who are fully moving into the new age of the new age spiritual way shower and light worker who have taken the oath of we consciousness and are fully aware of the old me consciousness. The thirds will be delineated you will also see more transparency and authenticity in your world, which is very important for the way shower and the light worker to look at. Transparency and authenticity will be revealed in your government systems, your financial systems, your political systems, and corporate systems as well. End of quote. The web of light is coming fully online in a big way on planet Earth Equal Heart. All are in position for the transition. The upgrades for those ready are occurring and processing. The higher grid is completely on, awaiting everyone's arrival. Decreed by heaven, all who are prepared for their true missions will be stepping forward. The love energy is at the forefront of this planet now and will be guiding the way into a smooth transition into the new earth equal heart for all prepared. This is a divine plan manifesting now on planet earth equal heart. Thank you for spreading these messages to others and keeping your hearts open and staying tuned in. And transmission and all love is unconditionally. We are so in love with humanity. Love the Galactic Free Press staff, humanity's earth allies, the company of heaven, and the first contact ground crew team. We love you unconditionally and we are here.